Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Stranger Days. And today we're going to be talking about one of the weirdest movies ever made. And when I say weird movie, I mean a legitimately weird adult erotic parody film. Arguably the first known example of a porno parody film ever. And also a movie that is relatively put into the running for the worst porno film of all time. And after having watched a fair amount of it, I can tell you that Bat Pussy is pretty goddamn terrible. And I mean that in the worst possible way. This is a recreation of the poster. Not much is actually known about this particular movie, except that it was released sometime in the early 1970s possibly 1971, somewhere maybe to 1973. It's really unknown. All we know is that it's a parody of the old 1960s Batman films, and it's pretty obscure. That is, I mean, no one knew it existed until it was actually discovered back in a storeroom of a Memphis, Tennessee adult movie theater sometime in the mid-1990s. And then from there, it kind of spread, and it ended up getting put out on home video through something weird video. And at the time, there's literally no copyright on this film. So you can find it on a number of places. And, you know, that's the thing. But what's crazy about it ultimately is the plot, because there is a plot, but it's so god awful, it's hard to explain. So the movie is all about the two people you see here who aren't wearing clothes, Bud and Sam. They're hanging out at home, they're reading some porno mags. They decide to start fooling around, except Sam or Bud, really, Buddy can't really keep it up. He can't really keep the guy in action for most of the first like 30 minutes of the film. So much so that Sam kind of admonishes him for this. She kind of gives him a lot of crap for it. And then at the same time, he's not really giving her a lot of love for her performance either. It's like watching two old people just kind of smash their bodies together in a very uncomfortable setting because the camera rarely ever moves from its position. And somebody sat there and had to actually film all this. Then it cuts across town. You hear about, you know, Bat Pussy, who senses crime because her twat begins to twitch. So she jumps on uh, an inflatable space hopper and she hops across Gotham, stopping only to pee and then to thwart a mugging and or sexual assault before barging in on this illegal fuck recording and then joining in on the action for the final remainder of the movie. And then from there, she just kind of disappears and the movie ends. And it's like I said, guys, it it, it is it is absolutely effing terrible it's 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 god awful to watch this thing i don't recommend that you do it but like i said this is one that kind of came out from relative obscurity and has become a very big cult classic so this is what it says mostly on wikipedia nothing is really known about the production the film has no credits no names have been publicly associated with the film that being said when you look at this here no one is identifiable the only name we really have is of Bat Pussy herself, who was listed as Dora Dildo. Yeah, that's right. Dora Dildo. And according to IMDb, and I have no way of knowing how much of this is actually true, she was only in three films in the early 1970s, Bat Pussy, Twilight Cowboy, and Hidden Lust. And she's the only somewhat recognizable person in this movie at all. So where did this movie come from? Who made it? Honest to God, no one knows. There's no names associated with it. There's no credits associated with it. The only name, as I said, was Dora Dildo. And even that is something that you can't find a lot of information on on the Internet. The only real piece of info that we have is when this was found in the mid 90s by filmmaker Mike McCarthy, who discovered it in roughly about 200 boxes of vintage Super 8 and 16 millimeter pornographic films in the back room of the Paris Adult Movie Theater in Memphis, Tennessee. And it was here that McCarthy contacted the founder of Something Weird Video, which is an exploitation film distributor, and sold him that whole collection for $1,000. Eventually, the movie was put out on VHS back in 1996 as a double feature. But from there, it kind of generated a bit of a cult following. And fast forward all the way to 2016, 
when we found out that the American genre film archive said that it would be partnering with something weird video to release a 2K restoration of Bat Pussy on Blu-ray the following year. And almost a year after that, it was released on Blu-ray after subsequently being banned from Amazon due to its pornographic content. And the new print of the film actually had its world premiere at Fantastic Fest in Austin, Texas on September 23rd, 2017. Doesn't surprise me. Austin, weird place. But what about the cult nature of this particular film? Like I said, you can find this thing practically anywhere. I found it on phub.com. You know the place. And as you can see here, I, I, I thumbed through it. I didn't watch the full thing. It's long. It's boring. It's stupid. It's terrible. But it's cheesy. And the story of it is kind of interesting. But anyway, this movie can be found. You can watch it. You can see it. Or you can go to walmart.com and hope to find it for $14.91, which is currently out of stock. So you can't get it at Walmart, but you can go over to eBay and you can look for it on eBay where it is in fact listed for $110 or $125. This is effectively a very rare collectible to find if this is your sort of thing. And just to give you an idea of what's on the Blu-ray, if you do get this 2K release, what we know is, and this, by the way, is the plot of the film to let you know, like, what exactly we know. It says the city, the citizens of Gotham City are under attack by smut filmmakers and only one hero can help. Bat Pussy who hangs out in her secret headquarters, uh, a.k.a. an outhouse, when her twat begins to twitch, warning her of cr imminent crime. Um, Bat Pussy hops on her holy hippity hop to foil the grotesque sex schemes of an unhappily married couple, Buddy and Sam. Considered to be the first porn parody, Bat Pussy is the no-fi sexploitation masterpiece of your wildest dreams and also your most horrifying nightmares. The unidentified lunatic filmmakers have never been located, providing further proof that this movie was most likely made by extraterrestrials. And you know what? They're probably not wrong, but if you do get your hands on it, there are actually special features, which I thought were kind of interesting. You get here the 2K scan from the only surviving 16 millimeter theatrical print. That's actually not true. There was another print with extra scenes found in 2019 that is not on this particular Blu-ray. You get a commentary track. Sure, why not? If you want to watch the most boring porno ever made, why not have a laugh track with it? Crime smut trailers and other shorts from Something Weird. And then you get a bonus movie called Robot Love Slaves, which is another 1971 film. I don't know if that's a porno. Honestly, it probably could be a porno at this point. But if you are looking for any of the technical details about this movie, about the Blu-ray release, not going to lie, Blu-ray.com actually has a breakdown of what to get if you are one of those type of purist junkies. You can see here all the nice fine details. Of course, this is wild that it exists, but it absolutely exists. And having seen it, I feel like I am, I don't want to say lesser for it, but I feel like it is a piece of history, of erotic cinema history. It is a very terrible, and I mean this objectively terrible porno film. It is so god-awful and so boring. There's no reason to watch it for more than 30 seconds at a time. You won't be happy. But it is a cult film. It is a cult movie, and that in and of itself is something that is fun. Because of how it was discovered in the back room of an old porno theater in Memphis, Tennessee, it has this like urban legend aesthetic to it. And I think that adds to the whole concept. I can only imagine the people who went to the world premiere at Fantastic Fest in 2017 and were bored to tears by a 50 minute long, almost single shot porno. I mean, it's like the camera is static for a lot of it. Yeah, there's some zooms, but it doesn't really move around that much. And quite frankly, it could also just be a commentary on the lackluster sex life of Bud and Sam because neither does Sam. And really, neither does Bud. And I don't understand how you could be so not turned on at all and 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 so somehow think that this movie is a good idea to put out there. I don't know. But if you've seen it, if you go and you find it on the website and you watch it, I want to hear your thoughts for how bad it is. Let me know down in the comment section. 
I'll talk to you all later. Have yourself a great day. Thank you again for watching. What the hell am I covering tonight? I don't know. It's the middle of the night. Screw it. I'll see you all later for another episode of Stranger Days. Have a good one and peace out.